Friendship higher than mountains, deeper than ocean, sweeter than honey, and stronger than steel. China-Pakistan relationship is a remarkable example of friendship, and CPAC is another great initiative to strengthen this bond and to boost economic growth in South Asia. So friends, today we are going to talk about the most hot topic these days, that is China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, also called CPAC. And I will try to explain it in a simple language for students. So friends, CPAC is a collection of projects that worth nearly $51 billion and it includes the construction of highways, railways and pipelines that connects the Kashgar of Western China to Gawadeh port of Pakistan. This project is also considered as the extension of China's One Belt, One Road project. The purpose of this project is to boost economic growth in South Asia and to facilitate trade by upgrading Pakistan's infrastructure. So friends, now I will try to explain different projects that comes under CPAC and I will also try to explain the geopolitical importance of this project with the help of different maps. So first of all, we will talk about the highway and railway project that includes the construction of 1100 kilometer long motorway between Karachi and Lahore and reconstruction of Karakoram Highway between Rawalpindi and Chinese border. A major portion of Karakoram Highway was badly affected in 2010 by a massive earthquake near China-Pakistan border, so reconstruction of this highway is also included in this project. This project also includes the upgradation of main railway line between Karachi and Peshawar that will facilitate train travel up to 160 km per hour. And as I said earlier, the purpose is to build one road that connects Gawadar port of Pakistan and Pakistan's major city to China's Xinjiang province. The second important project is the construction of network of pipelines between Gawadar and Nawab Shah for transport of liquefied natural gas and oil from Iran. Another major project which is of great importance for Pakistan is the construction of energy infrastructure that worth nearly $33 billion to solve Pakistan's current energy crisis. For last many years, so many industries in Pakistan are badly affected due to this power shortage. The project will be one of the world's largest solar energy plant with over 10,400 megawatt of energy generation capacity. The project is also a part of Corridor's Early Harvest project that will compete between 2018 and 2020. The good news is most of the energy generation projects under CPAC are coal-based plants. And as we know, Pakistan is rich in coal reservoirs Especially the third area of Sindh province has the largest coal mine in Pakistan. Other projects under CPAC where both the countries have decided to cooperate in the field of agriculture, science and technology. And it also includes the establishment of joint Pakistan-China Marine Research Center. Let me tell you briefly about Gawadar port of Pakistan and why China is so interested in Gawadar port. Well, it is Pakistan's warm water deep sea port and it is functional since 2007. On 12 November 2016, the first Chinese trade convoy consisting of 250 containers arrived at Gawadar port to export in different countries. As we all know, China is the world's biggest oil importer and energy security is a major concern for China. The Middle Eastern oil imported to China's eastern coast pass through South China Sea near disputed Spreadly Islands and Parasil Islands, which are currently the source of tension between China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Philippines and United States. The sea routes are also frequently patrolled by United States Navy. On the other hand, the Straits of Malacca provide China the shortest maritime axis of 12,000 km while the distance from Gawadar port of Pakistan to Xinjiang province is approximately 3,000 km and another 3,500 km distance from Xinjiang to eastern coast of China, which is China's greatest economic hub. So this is the main reason why China is so interested to develop Gawadar port. Another important aspect of this project is the business located in the zone would be exempted from customs authorities as well as many provincial and federal taxes. 
Moreover, the Gawada city is further being developed by a construction of 300 megawatt of coal energy power plant, a desalinization plant, a 300 bed hospital, and a $230 million worth Gawadar International Airport, which will be fully funded by Chinese government. CPAC is not only beneficial for Pakistan and China, but it will also create a great positive impact on South Asian economy and will also improve trade links in Middle East and Southeast region. Hope you find this video informative. Keep watching for more videos related to health, education, and current affairs.